All right, welcome back. It's been a while since I've made an M1 MacBook update, but now that the Parallel 16 technical preview is out, I wanted to do a review and kind of quick intro and Steam gameplay footage for you guys. So I'm gonna be covering how to get the install file, where to download it, and how to install it on Parallel 16. Kind of just a quick level overview, and then I'm gonna go into like a full details into how to get it. Now, simply put, the way to go is to just simply go to Google, search Windows 10 ARM, and it'll be the first link you'll see here. Afterwards, you just kind of have to go down and download the whole preview. You have to be an insider, so be sure to log in and do all that jazz. Um, but afterwards, there's some special settings you need to do in order to get X64 emulation on the Windows 10 ARM. That involves going into the Windows Insider program, making sure that you choose Dev Channel. And then when you go to Windows Update, it will appear on this screen. Of course, I already have it on, but make sure you want to have 21277 installed so that you can play X64 games and you can have uh, similar settings or performances I have. So. First things first, this is an eight gigabyte RAM version, eight core, and that's what all the testing will be done. You may get better performance on the 16 gigabyte RAM. I've yet to get that for myself. So, so we're start off with games that don't work. Fall Guys still has the anti-cheat, does not launch. Destiny 2, I was unable to launch it. I waited a bit to have uh, see if a window pops up, nothing occurred. Cyberpunk, now Parallel 16 does not support DX12. If they get it working, it could launch, but as you can see, it sometimes crashes my system. Um, so this is, of course, a technical preview, and the performance you see here will probably be better as uh, the developers work on improving Windows emulation and stuff like that. And also, it's up for Microsoft to be able to do this as they are the ones that are primarily driving the emulation of x86 and x64. Other games that don't launch still is Valorant. So I had done a video on crossovers saying that, you know, typically you are not able to get the anti-cheat working. That's still the case with parallels, um, still doesn't work. Um, so until some kind of boot camp thing may be supported by Windows or Apple, you won't be able to launch any of these games. So as I mentioned before, Destiny 2 was able to launch, but I'm able to see actually the architecture if you go into Windows Task Manager. Now, in this demo, I wanted to showcase some of the cache file swap values using an eight gigabyte. Again, not a major concern for people, like I mentioned in multiple reviews that the system is able to use swap file correctly. Um, and the last game I tested that I found didn't work was Alien Isolation. When I was doing some testing, I would consistently either get game crashes and or Windows Parallel crashes. So that is something to consider that even though we're getting Windows 10 ARM, you're not going to get full compatibility. So just to recap, games that use anti-cheat, games that uh, you know require some kind of DRM probably won't launch. That includes Destiny, Fall Guys, Apex Legends, all that is not working at the moment. So enough intro about games that don't work. Let's talk about games that do work. Now, parallels, you may want to do design mode or productivity. I'm unable to get Windows launching in gaming mode, but um, that's something that may be fixed later on and may get better performance. So let's take a look at Halo and uh, we're going to launch it up and see how the settings were. So Halo seemed to launch fine from the M1 MacBook, again, doing a double virtualization and then Windows 10 doing an emulation on top of that. If Apple decides to support bootcamp, I would expect full compatibility or even some way to even launch bootcamp just using Windows 10 ARM. That may be something that, when, that Apple wants to do. Uh, but yeah, Halo runs fine. It seemed to get about 60 FPS once I turn some of the settings down. So with pretty much everything set to low and the resolution at what Windows Parallels renders it at, which is about Retina display 2880 by, uh, I believe, 1800, um, I'm able to get about 60 FPS, at least from what it looked like visually. Steam overlay wasn't working, so I wasn't able to get uh, some of the FPS showing there, and I couldn't figure out how to get FPS setting. But for the most part, it seemed to run fine. Um, some graphical glitches here and there, but it runs pretty smoothly in terms of gameplay and you could probably go through the whole campaign. Now, of course, this was run, if you paid attention in the beginning, turning off the anti-cheat. So that's the only way you could have this running. So multiplayer doesn't work yet, but you did see here some pretty smooth settings. And this is also with QuickTime running as well. So I could get that in-person recording. 
um, seems pretty smooth to me. There are some issues I had, at least with parallels and the Windows acceleration or the mouse acceleration, excuse me. Um, but as I turned the sensitivity up, I was able to get some decent gameplay footage and or uh, decent gameplay. So I would say this is 100% working, at least on Halo Reach and excited to see, you know, as the more technical uh, previews come out, what they're able to pull off. So the last game I ran was War Thunder, now on crossovers and macOS. I was unable to get this running previously, and this is the only way I was able to get it running was using the Windows 10 ARM emulation. Usually I had a crash that if you search some forums, you'll be able to find. But as you can see here, I'm able to get past the loading screen and use all of the uh, items and stuff of that nature. And then I went through and went through the tutorial, and at least in the tutorial, I was able to get a steady 60 to 70 FPS on low settings. So Definitely an improvement over what was previously compatible um, and excited to see, again, what else comes in mind. So uh, one of the last things I want to say is I'll be making a follow-up video on Windows Office. I was actually able to get Microsoft Visio running and the full Microsoft suite. There may be some reasons you want to use the Windows version of uh, Office, such as you know better OneNote performance or capabilities along with other stuff. So that'll be the next video I'll be testing for those of you who maybe needed parallels or Microsoft apps to run perfectly. This is a way um, definitely with some better compatibility that you may want to check out in the next videos. So thanks for checking this out. Quick preview. If you guys have any questions or want me to test certain things, let me know. I've been taking requests. So that's why I'm running Alien, Isolation, and War Thunder because people in the comments have listed that they wanted to see some footage and or some c capabilities or compatibility. Um, I was testing other things too. Someone gave me a shout out to do Maple Story, and it wasn't running until I got some settings done. I don't have any footage of that, but it is... Um, able to run and I'll leave some comments below on some other games I've tested or respond to anything that I test off screen or not in a YouTube video. Um, so appreciate you guys watching. Hope you guys have a good holidays and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.